Hello there, this is part four of our tutorial of our training series. And uh, yeah, so let's start by baking uh, the cavity map and ambient occlusion for our uh, objects in the papers collection. So I'll select any of the papers, shift G collection, select uh, the ob all objects in that collection group. And then I can is isolate the, uh, just go back to check my UVs and make sure that everything is as, as I expect it. And uh, yeah, so we are good. Now let's set up uh, the ambient occlusion, sorry, the cavity map uh big so the first thing you want to do is uh, set up the texture map that we are going to uh, bake onto uh, so i'm just going to go to texture shift a texture image texture i uh, remember we want to bake a 2k texture so i'll just multiply this by two and uh, this by two i'll just call this bake uh, because we're going to bake on this onto this image over and over and just save uh the bake onto a, another image file so just click ok uh, you can always switch on 32 bit uh, just to get more detail in your back or in your uh, textures uh, because 32 bit uh, textures hold more information than uh, 16 bit textures so after that let's set up uh, our point mess or cavity map uh, let me first check off some of these solidify modify i don't need this because i'm not going to bake this so i can switch it off for a second and, uh, let me just go through this and uh, make sure that all the modifiers i want to bake are active so to bake uh, the point mess what you want to do is first switch to the cycles render render engine because doing that ev doesn't bake doesn't bake and also doesn't support point mess so if you go into your shader shift a and and then under input you can find uh, the geometry input and uh, under that you'll find uh, the point mess output so if you hold down sh control shift and then click through or click click on this uh, geometry node i can toggle through uh, the different output for that node uh, this is true as long as you have the as long as you have the node wrangler add-on enabled if you if you don't have that enabled uh, this won't work make sure you have that in a mode by going under edit preferences and then add-ons are uh, to enable that add-on uh, so if we go to the rendered uh, setup here you can s start seeing uh, the point mess happening uh, if you if you go back to google just to show you how the cavity or point mess map looked it's just again a mask showing you where the sharp corners are and uh, we can see a faint mask uh, from that this map uh, relies on the geometry of your mesh and uh, if you the more resolution you have or the more uh, geometry you have in your mesh the more pronounced uh, the uh, the mask will look uh, so sometimes if you want to have to capture those edges out uh, you might want to add uh, the subdivision surface if you don't have that or in cases where you don't where you already have the subdivision surface on but uh, it's not coming out uh, as is not the map is not coming out as much as you want it you can just increase uh, your viewport resolution and then after you bake you can bring it back down so you can see if we look at this you can see the effect is not coming out that much but uh, if i turn this on you can see how it looks and uh, you can also make it more pronounced by uh, by adding uh, a math node or the operation of power uh, to make it more powerful or more pronounced I can increase the contrast here. You don't need to push it too far uh, because you can always work on it later. Another thing I forgot to mention here is that uh, uh, if you're going to bake, if when you, you're baking, first make sure that uh, your normals are facing the right direction. Otherwise, you're going to get a few issues. Uh, for example, here, uh, if you're seeing red on the outside of your mesh, it means that uh, the normals are, faint, are facing the wrong direction. So let's go back. Just select everything. Go to edit mode and then shift A to recalculate our normals so that everything is facing the right direction. You see our paper and this quill are not facing the right direction. So I'll go to this then control L, shift A, flip the normals, select this paper, shift A flip it on the other side uh, same with this here shift a i think that's okay and uh, 
uh, because uh, normals are very important when it comes to texturing and baking your textures uh, this other thing here uh, the background is not that important because we're not going to texture that now after that you can go back and uh, switch your uh, face orientation uh, let's go back to our papers shift D collection uh, shift D collection isolate those now we can again look at our map to see how that looks you can even see now it's even more pronounced uh, since we have uh, recalculated the normals and uh, so now if you want to bake this out you want to connect this uh, to the base color uh, make sure you're reviewing the principal shader see how that is going to give us good detail but I think I also need a subdivision surface for this so that we can capture that detail even further okay so now that we, we have this set up make sure you select the bake a texture map you created uh, because now we are ready to start baking I'm also going to switch over to UV editing so that we can preview our bake and also switch uh, to the bake image how we have just created and uh, go to render settings make sure you are in the render in the cycles engine because if it doesn't allow for baking then under render settings we can find the bake option what we want to bake is the point mess map which is connected to the face color so we don't have a point mess uh, bake option if you go to the op bake option we can see we don't have the point mesma uh, but uh, if you feed this directly into the base color you can bake uh, the diffuse which is basically the base color and uh, we only want to bake at uh, the color we don't want to bake any direct lighting uh, that is resulting from the lights we have in the scene or uh, the surrounding environment lighting or we also don't want to bake any indirect lighting uh, which, con ma which may consist uh, the shadows I think shadows are in the direct lighting uh, but uh, we don't want to bake those into uh, the point mesh map we just want uh, the point mesh map only uh, which is the color uh, this margin is just setting uh, the bleeding how much bleeding you have uh, between these again always make sure you have some space between these so my space is a bit too small so i'm just going to park islands again and uh, just increase it by a bit let me just set this to something like five pixels uh, that will be enough uh, you see we are not using this texture space here so what I can do I can just scale up some of these objects uh, so that they can go uh, up here maybe let me select these so I'm going to scale them up a bit select everything and then pack again so that some of them can use utilize other texture space but uh, it's not that important because uh, most of these objects are going to be really small in our scene anyways and uh, some of them are just going to be hidden from this so it's not that important so after you're done setting up everything uh, if you want the bake to be really fast without uh, affecting the quality of the bake just change uh, the render set the render uh, resolution here from 128 uh, to 1 pixel because it won't affect uh, the quality but uh, if you increase uh, the samples here it will it will won't change the, the quality but it will increase the bake time so after I do everything uh, just go back to cross check that uh, you have selected the bake texture that you want to bake to and then make sure you, you have all the objects selected as well and then hit bake uh, it will bake it will start baking the maps as you can see we start seeing them one one by one come up in their positions and uh, yeah so see you in the next part